Hey guys, welcome to the Field of 68 YouTube channel. If you like what you see here, hit that subscribe button and you'll get more college basketball content just like this. Marquette 73, St. John 72. Jeff, as the buzzer sounds, Rick Patino takes a little bit of a fall. He was totally fine. But I think it reflected how was hard Was that a real fall? Those... That was a real uh, fall. Went... No. I thought it was like a... No, I don't think it was he like fell. a physical fall. I think it was a, I hate losing so much that okay. I'm just going to, okay. I down to the floor right now. This was a, yeah, a he, just, he, he hit the ground. He's like, I'm going to have to go sit outside and die of frostbite again. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. Which, which right. again, right. we're talking about St. John's. Like they lost this game by one. It's another heartbreaker. I love the old school floor, but Marquette comes away a winner. Jeff, w what did you make of this win for Marquette? It's all on Osu. Uh, Oso Igadara. Like, honestly, so much is on him because he opens things up for, for Kolick and, and Cam Jones. He's got to be a consistent offensive threat. We know he brings energy. We know he's a big time athlete up front. He plays hard, all that. But, you know, today he, he went for 17 and, and other guys helped. Like, we've talked about it all year. It can't just be Kolick and Cam Jones. Like, I love Tyler Kolick. Everybody knows that. I'm the president of the fan club. But you can't <laughs> expect him to have to carry this team uh, over and over and over. And Stevie Mitchell was pretty good today. Oso was terrific. He's got to be terrific on most nights. And in order for this team to, to advance deep in the NCAA tournament, it, it's on those other guys. It's on the others. It's not on, on Kolick and Cam Jones. It's on the others. I thought Kolick was – outstanding especially in the second half today i thought that he looked like peak tyler kolik i thought we saw him carving up that st john's defense there was a stretch where uh st john's was up i want to say 34 to 24 i think it was early in the it was late in the first half and by about the eight minute mark marquette had taken total control of the game i think their lead was as big as 12 and all so much of that had to do with Kolek's ability to get by the first defender and just find somebody cutting to the basket somebody cutting to the rim somebody spotting up in a corner somebody moving baseline like i, I thought he was as good as he's played in his entire marquette career in the second half today now part of the reason why this came down to a last second shot is because marquette missed four straight free throws <laughs> Two of them were front end, and one of the uh, and three of those were from Kohler. Tyler Kohler. So Kohler. you got to make your free throws, Tyler. Come on, man, you got to make your free throws. But I, I thought that this was the reason why this was such an important win is because look, we saw Marquette pick up a nice win um, during the week, but going on the road, picking up a win against a really good St. John's team that, like, if you're going to talk about bad matchups, a team that's going to be able to get out and pressure you and guard you with big athletic guards and wings against a team that doesn't really have that size, length, and athleticism is not a great matchup. So I was I was really, really impressed with Marquette. This was a great Thank you for watching The Field of 68. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, hit that like button, share this link with your friends, or check out the description for some other places that you can consume Field of 68 content.